Hey everybody, what is up? Rod here, and welcome to the Resident Evil 3 demo. They uh, announced, Capcom announced, uh, I can't remember, I think it was a couple weeks back or so, that they were going to be making a playable demo available for us, and I think I seen that it was available for Australia the other day, but it wasn't available until today for me. Um, after I got home from work, I was like, oh yeah, we're playing this. Definitely a huge fan of the Resident Evil series. I started with the first one when it originally came out. A buddy of mine introduced it to me, and I've been a huge fan ever since. But that being said, I say we jump right into it, you guys. The game may differ. Final game may differ. You cannot save. Yeah, kind of figured as much. This new plague is spreading at a terrifying rate, embedding itself in the corpses already shambling the city streets. Jill has encountered immense difficulties in her attempt to escape the city. But at her most desperate moment, she was rescued by an unknown man. I didn't see what that said. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Hello, Captain. What's up? Carlos. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD Special Tactics and Rescue Service. I wasn't expecting his voice to be like that. I don't know why. Something Valentine. It's Jill. Hi, nice Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS platoon leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Oof, you're all messed up, Great. dude. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians. We'll wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. Zombs. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. Mm, time to step in and lend a hand. All right. I'm in. Well, that didn't take long. She's like, all right, let's I do like this. Your Not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. <laughs> I see. First things first. We need to get you geared up. Okay. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right, thank you. Okay, is L2 lame? What is run? Click on the stick to run. L2 is aim. Oh boy. Um. Oh boy. All right. Can we go to options? Um. Thankfully, aim assist is on. Is there a way? Yeah, we shut HDR off because I don't think I'd be able to. What is this? Deceleration? Adjust how it slows down when it's over a target? What does that mean? Oh. Hmm. What the? They have a poster for their own game. <laughs> That's awesome. What else they got? Hell Squid, Tyrant of the Deep. That looks like an alien almost. I don't know. Am I supposed to go this way? It seems like, they really took looks like I can go this way too. Oh, what's here? Ammo crafting guide. On the battlefield, if you run out of ammo, your gun's about as useful as a wet fart. <laughs> All right. Once they out live there, then uh, use these basic formulas to get it. Okay, so gunpowder, high grade gunpowder, times two. Once you stocked up, get out there and join the party. Let's give those dead motherfuckers something to eat. Just make sure you don't become dessert. <laughs> okay. Yo, they really be going, they be holding all, I can't remember, was it originally eight items you could hold? I thought it was 10. What's this way though? Is there like a map? There is. 
The map screen is useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. It can also show you any points of interest in items you haven't found and haven't picked them up. Alright, that's cool. It just says to get above ground, so I don't know if it matters which way we go. Let me go down here. Oh, okay. Alright, so... This is just kind of there. I didn't really see anything we could grab back here. All right, I didn't see anything on the bench. Obviously it's not gonna be anything under the train and we couldn't get into the other car, so probably just like an aesthetic thing. All right, um, let's head up this way. Wait, can we go in here? Same thing, all right, cool. Let us go. Oh, fuck. That scared me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit ahead of you on that one, game. What's this? The cannibal murder is a complete digest. In the grave of the morning of September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man had described a devil... or a... disheveled? Disheveled. Weird, I don't recognize that word. Um, like a vagrant, was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers directed the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Or discovered? Why do I say directed? Uh, dozens of bite marks covered her body, and she'd been dismembered, suggesting that she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on the man steak? <laughs> Damn it. Uh, we here at News Comment have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patient, Spencer Memorial, has been providing free treatment for, for since August, might be settling in just for cafeteria food. Our reports have uh, our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the, the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make you make your stomach roll. Turn the page for the scoop. Well, there's no more pages to turn. So, Eric the Dragon Slayer. Creators write Steep Kiss Undercover Thrill, they killed him. <laughs> I'm just looking at all the magazine titles. Anything over here? No. Alright. Jill? It's me again. You topside yet? Where Almost. Are so what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do Heard this that. fast. Let's do it. Alright, so we got a green herb. Got another green herb. I assume triangle. Yeah, combining items, you just... Uh, yeah, you hit combine. <laughs> I mean, how much easier do you need to get than that? Gunpowder. Yeah, that's right. I remember this from Resident Evil 2. Yep. Bam. Alright, so we got a decent amount of bullets. I don't really see anything else we can grab. I'm assuming that was it. Oh, that's not creepy. Um, the UBCS Herbal Field Manual. There's no place in the UBCS for pipsqueaks who crawl back into base every single time they get scratched up. You want somebody who's gonna kiss your boo-boo? Go someplace else. <laughs> Here in the big leaves, we mix our own meds so we get them recipes memorized. Uh, green herb times two. I'm gonna say green herb um, and a red herb is like going to give you the most, but you can also do three times the green herbs. Um, can't make these yourself, gotta grab them if you see them. Yeah, first aid sprays are where it's at. That'll fully heal. What the fuck? Do I need to shoot that? Because it's freaking me out. I don't know if I was supposed to shoot it. I just had a feeling I should. Why don't you have a flashlight, Jill? I'm confused. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I wasn't done. I was still looking in there. Train moving. Oh shit. Oh. Nope, that was. Oh. There we go. Oh, trying to shoot his head. It's not working. Damn it. All that, and I got bit. Fuck, already? That took no time at all. How many fucking headshots do you need, my man? Okay. 
I also am playing in the dark. I don't know if that'll really make it that much scarier for me. I don't really feel too creeped out. But let's see. I don't think we can go in there. Let's head down. Oh. Also, I thought I'd like to point out that first zombie looked awfully familiar. Like one of the first zombies you run into in the first Resident Evil. What's this? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna need that because I am terrible. Okay, I'm starting to get a little creeped out. Oh, oh. Hi there, fellas. How we doing? There we go. Damn it. How did that miss? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hold on, Angel. Calm down. Oh, I shot his arm off. Damn, dude. They really come at you, don't they? <sighs> that sucks. So many bullets wasted. Um... Say, so please don't get up whatever you are. This way? We buy old toys. Oh, you can quick step? Interesting. In the original Resident Evil, if you press back and square, uh, Resident Evil 3, I mean. In the original one, if you press back and square, you could uh, do a 360. Or a 180? Yeah, it was a 180. That was very nice. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. So which way do I need to go? Because if I don't need to fight those guys, I can just keep on going. Yeah, let's keep moving. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You okay. Run through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Fuck you. Oh. Okay. Well, I can only assume we need to get that down. I don't know how to do that. I think we need to go back this way. Yep. That's... That's what I was worried about. Three of them? Uh-oh. I do not have enough ammo for three of them. Oh wait, there's a barrel right there. Hey guys, go over this barrel real fast. That'd be great. That'd be great if you just stand right there. Yeah. Hey, all right, I'll take that too. That was beautiful. Thank you for setting that up for me. <laughs> I was like, wait, there's a giant red barrel right here. Ah, fuck, but there's still a bunch more enemies though. There wouldn't happen to be another red barrel down here, would there? Let's say there comes a point where, like, you don't even need to fight anymore. Like, it just becomes pointless. Especially with that many of them back there. I don't know which way to go. I'm gonna head up first. I think we can kick down that ladder, maybe? Uh-oh. I did not like the sound of that. He's on the other side? I'm kind of scared. I feel like there's an enemy back here. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. I didn't see that one there. Okay. Alright, so now we have that shortcut. I'm not exactly sure what that will do for us. But I'm sure it will come in handy. Seriously though, no flashlight Jill, what the fuck's going on? Oh hey look! There goes another one. Ping ping! Okay, so if I do this and press R1, will I pull my knife out? Or is it triangle? It just says press down. Oh. 
Okay. A red herb. Very nice. Okay, so up on the deep pad, I'll switch them back. Gotcha. Um, 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 um. That's to go back. We don't want that way. We want to keep going forward. So let's keep pushing. There may have been stuff back there for us to grab, but there were way too many zombies. I'm like, nah, bro. I don't feel like dealing with that shit. Nah. Okay. I'm not taking any chances. Oh, this place is fucking creepy. Uh I'm gonna need a safe combination for that. I don't I don't know how to do that on my own. Uh okay. August twenty fourth. This new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. The stuff they make always works wonders, so it's no surprise. I was counting on I was counting on this in order to huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know sales will continue as rise continue to rise as word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in a good safe to hold and all this cash that's rolling in. The new safe is perfect. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. There's a secret between me and my beautiful Aqua Cure Queen, and she'd never give it up for a thief. Aqua Cure. Definitely take that. Aqua Cure. What the hell is that? It says I want. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, I like that quick step. That's nice. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Eh. No, damn. I was gonna try and run, but I fucking. I didn't click it in the stick. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Oh, get off me. Oh, that like exploded. Um, wait, inventory. Oof, that that's got me worried. I haven't even ran to the big man yet, and I'm already fucking taking damage. I'm curious as to how long this demo is going to be as well, because I don't know. The one-shot demo was like an hour long for Resident Evil 2, I think. That's creepy. Okay, I wasn't sure if there'd be an item. I was like, I'll just check. This does not sound good. Oh my. There's a lot going on down there. Okay, so we got one right there, yeah. Can we hop over this at all? No, damn. You're like gonna, you gonna give me some slack? Okay, so let's go here. And then this way. And then this way. And then this way. Get everybody together now. Everybody all together. Oh, come on, dude. You weren't that fucking close. Get off my dick. You were not that close. There. Fucking ass. Oh, what the fuck? Where did you come from? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Dude, holy shit. I, I gotta heal on that, dude. Fucking hell, man. Where did you come from? How does that miss? Ah, damn. <sighs> Terrified me, dude. I was not expecting her to... Ch she just popped out of nowhere. Seven bullets. That's all you're going to give me. <laughs> <sighs> well, thankfully there's all these barrels and shit. Because otherwise, I don't know how I would take out these enemies. Can we go up this way? Okay, so we can go in there. We also didn't go back this way. Just want to see if there's any more materials. Oh, nope. You stay over there. 
I'm just gonna- Oh, fucking hell, dude. Really? He's just gonna get up and bite me? She couldn't have fucking fought him off at all. Come on. I love how every other bullet misses literally aimed on him. Super cool. Super cool. That was a fantastic use of my ammo right there. Fucking douchebag, man. I saw him laying down there, but I didn't think anything was going to happen. I was hoping nothing would happen. High grade gunpowder. Yeah, I'll definitely take the bullets. I swear, if something pops out, I'm gonna be fucking mad. So we can keep that old boy over there on his own. Let's see what's up here. Cause there was that, and oh fucking hell, are you shitting me? <sighs> oh, now she's got the flashlight. Nope. Oh, fucking come on. Hold on, first off. Let's make sure that one's not gonna get up. Yeah, fucker. Wasn't falling for that. Your friend out there tried to get me with that shit. Why is everything gonna be so creepy? Fire hose. Violence is getting worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits a breaking point. Locking it up in the gun rack. That should be keep safe from anyone would be looters if I go out and find some more shells. If things go south, cut the chain and bust out that sucker. I pray we all make it out alive. Cut the chain? I don't have anything to cut the chain with. A hand grenade? Uh, okay. Combine. Okay. Yeah, I've not seen any pliers anywhere, so I don't know. Using key items? Well, my knife isn't gonna work. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, my knife is not going to cut that. I need, like, an actual bolt cutter, but I don't know how to get into this. Because that's locked. Can I just shoot that off? Oh, okay. I thought I'd try. Yeah, so we need bolt cutters to even get into that to get a shotgun. God, this music is so tense. This must be the subway company's offices. Nothing. Okay, I was like, can I do anything there? Uh, the stations, confirm the stations with Strop as well as which target, or which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur. Okay. Uh. So I can't even do anything here. I must need to get it from another side, maybe? I was like, I can't even do anything. Alright, here we go. Let's continue on. Just need to run past that lady. I don't know where she is, but I'm gonna make it past her. Oh, come the fuck on. Seriously? I gotta cut that open too? Oh man. Um, I'm definitely getting nervous now. Is there gonna be bolt cutters back here? Seems like we're in a save room. That's what that music makes me believe. Nope. Let's go ahead and combine these two. So we have another thing. Oh, bolt cutters right there. Hell yeah. Got it. 
And then I'm gonna put the knife away. And that. Usually they have a first aid kit just chilling in there waiting for you. Don't trust it. And bolt cutters doesn't work on that, okay. Okay, so let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go back this way, get the shoddy Bugatti. I don't know why, I'm feeling very nervous right now. Like, I just feel like something's gonna happen. I don't know what. Chomp. Yeah. Pull out my shoddy, like John Gotti. All right, so we got four bullets in that. That'll come in handy. And I think what we can do is cut this chain again, and then we can put away the bolts cutter. Oh, God. Whew, scared the fucking hell out of me. I said it doesn't help. My nerves are already shot. <laughs> I feel like it's the tension is finally kicking in. I wonder too if like if you don't need an item anymore, if it'll highlight it, if it'll tell you. Because I think in Resident Evil 2, if you use an item and you didn't need it anymore, then it would just uh, it would just like put a red X over it, I think, or something like that. Because then we can get the fire hose back out just in case. I don't know if we'll need it, but. I feel like there are bodies over there, that's why I kept getting worried. So I'm like, they're gonna wake up. Okay. Here we go. Nope. Alright, so how do we do this again? Well, they're stuck over there. Oh, shit. That was badass. I like dodged him perfectly. It made like a a movement thingy. That was beautiful. Handgun ammo. Hand another hand grenade. And shotgun shells. Okay, so now we have the hose. We can go back. Like, I couldn't go out the back of this way, right? Oh, fucking core. Oh, shit. What the fuck? No, no, no. Run, run, run. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? He's right there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just go. I, I don't even know where to go. Just go. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm fucked. Uh. <laughs> no. Please don't. Oh, that's a dead end. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Get off of me. Is this it? Is this how I'm gonna die? Oh my god, dude. I can't even see. This is fucking intense. <sighs> oh my god, my heart is fucking racing. I was not prepared for that. But that's not the way to go, though. I don't have my, uh... Yeah, I don't. Is it down for shoddy? Here we go. Do I have... Ugh, I just need a second to gather myself. Alright. Is that a box right there? Oh, it is. I didn't even notice that. Okay. 
Whew, I just need a second to like gather my shit, man. That thing scared the fuck out of me. I'm sure he's gonna be back right back out here. I don't have my doubts. Real talk though, I don't remember where to go. I can't even move. I'm dead. <laughs> wow. She's like, I'm just going to run away from the tyrant real fast and put this fire out, don't mind me. Oh my god. Holy shit, I was not expecting that. Stores. Oh, is that it? Fuck, alright, well. <laughs> Three deaths, yeah. Dude, he fucking wrecked me. Like, bodied my fucking shit like it was nothing. <sighs> I also didn't realize I was going the wrong way, too. The grenade definitely helped. When I threw that and it, like, stunned him, that made the world's difference. Huh. Well. I have to say, the dodging is interesting. I don't know... That's gonna take me a second to get used to, because, like, most games when you dodge, you press circle, I feel like. I wonder if I could change that. Probably shouldn't. Um, but yeah, that was interesting. Definitely a different tactic. Because like I said, in the original Resident Evil 3, you would just press back and square, and you would just do a 180, and then you could just hustle out of there. Um, I feel like the grab boxes were pretty... Oh, hey, nice. We got some more videos. Some of the grab boxes were shit, but I'm also it's I'm out of season on these games. It's been so long since I played them. Send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Oh god, there, Jill. Explosion. What was that? Dabu! Kendo, you're alright. You're all alright to stretch. <laughs> Stop it and do what? I got your back. Go. Go! Go oh stick. my. You better hunt. Sorry. What the? Look out! That was the dude from the second Resident Evil. I'm confused. What was that? Hmm. Interesting. Go to the product page to purchase this game. Uh, no. Not right now. I've got enough of my, uh... <laughs> I got enough on my plate. I will get this game though, for sure. Now, whether or not I do a Let's Play, I'm not sure, because I, I had planned on doing one for another Resident Evil. We'll see though. It does look like he's either wrapped in a trash bag or a body bag, I'm not sure. And then the mask from one of the people from, uh, I can't remember what the unit was called, or the character, Hunk, I think his name was, from Resident Evil 2, I don't know. Yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. I I do like that there was barrels, so you could take out multiple zombies at once. But I forget too that like even if you shoot them, they, I feel like they take a lot more bullets than the original Resident Evils. Like you could probably take them down like five or six bullets. Um, it also wasn't as easy to aim at the head back then. But I feel like I definitely went through a shit ton of bullets. And it was a shame though that checkpoint wasn't that great and I lost, like, I, I didn't have the shotgun or any of that stuff. I was like, oh man, I did all that and I lost everything? But still, either way, we ended up figuring it out. I was definitely getting a little flustered there because I was like, I don't understand, I'm confused. <laughs> There's something about, like, a big thing like that, like the tyrant in the second one and this one and this one, like, it just keeps busting out of nowhere. You're like, oh my god! <laughs> but, either way... Nice little fun surprise. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys played it yourselves. And say, let me know what your thoughts on it. What do you think it's going to be? Uh, is it going to be awesome? you think it's going to blow away the original? I think it will, in all honesty. From what I heard from the second Resident Evil, I think this game is going to do fantastic. Now I'm curious 
if they'll remake Resident Evil 4. I hope not. In all honesty, I don't think it needs to be remade yet, but Resident Evil 2 and 3, I'm down. And they already remade the first one, so I don't think they'll be remaking that anytime soon. So yeah, I really need to get back into it. I'd like to play 6, finish that off, and then I'd love to play 7, because I heard 7's fantastic. And then play the remake of 2 as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you're playing it yourself. Like I said, let me know what you guys think. Have an amazing day, and I will see you later.